Hey folks, so um, this video I paired up the Intel 10th Gen Pentium G6400 with the Gigabyte RTX 2070 Super. Now, the reason I'm making this video, basically, don't waste your time uh, pairing this up. It's not a good match. And uh, we'll look at a couple different resolutions inside uh, Fortnite. Uh, I've got all these other games we could try, but for whatever reason, we always end up back on Fortnite. So what I'll do is, uh, I think I'll do two settings in here. Uh, because 1080p low is uh, rather CPU intensive. And then I'll do 1080p epic, which will be uh, more GPU intensive. So let's start with the 1080p low. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in... Uh, MS Afterburner. I usually start this uh, once we get to uh, the bus. Uh, but I don't really think the FPS average matters for this video. So So the main thing, you know, watching for here is your CPU. And second line from the top there, you've got the CPU temperature and the CPU utilization. Uh, surprisingly, it's not completely pegged at 100% the whole time like the uh, Celeron would be. Uh, anything, you know, over 70% is basically supposed to be CPU bottlenecking. And uh, in this case, you know, well, now we're into the 60s. So if we could just stay in the 60s and below, it probably wouldn't be too bad. Now, other things to watch really would be uh, the 1% low by the end of this. That'll give you a good idea how many uh, drop frame rates we have. Is it the, uh, I think it's the very top right by the, the little map there. You should be able to see uh, as it dips from, from low to high numbers. And I'm just dropping in anywhere. Hopefully away from somebody. We need to survive a while. Looks like I'm going to have to uh, go this way. So we got people that way. Ooh, here's something good. So with the Celeron, you know, a lot of stuff just difficult to do. Uh, when I've I've done this in the past. Oops. I don't think we have any. Oh, we do have wood. I could have built a ramp. That's the difference between the good players and me. Um, so we can't take that taxi. We don't even have a gun yet. We finally got a gun. Let's go ahead and get our shield built up. So yeah, I'm really just trying to stay alive, folks. Maybe we'll get in a vehicle. But yeah, CPU is uh, definitely in the CPU bottlenecking range. Now, is the game playable? Uh, actually, surprisingly, it is. Um, you know, some of you, obviously, this would be uh, a nightmare. I think I've I've had some top ten finishes with the Celeron. So anything's possible if I can do it. Somebody that's really good at this game could do even better. 
All right, so now that we're in this truck, let's go ahead and switch to uh, Epic. And we'll get an idea what this thing does. I would go, you know, halfway in between. But uh, we'll see what we get. So now graphics card is definitely getting hit a lot harder now, as you can see. We're low fuel. I got to get some fuel. So you see how bad this is now? Um, it's not the recording device having a difficult time. It is actually... If I can think about which one of these I want. Um, it is actually the GPU... Not the GPU, sorry. The CPU is killing this thing. Because really you want the GPU to have a high percentage. So I'm going to, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to actually back out of here because this really is not a, uh, a good setting folks. So what have we tried so far? Uh, 10 AP low. I think we'll do medium and we got to change our 3d resolution. All right. So, you know, still suffering, obviously. There's going to be no way to get rid of the issue with CPU utilization if you want to uh, run 1080p, right? Now, could I go back and do this again at 720p? Yes, but when I'm on a 4K monitor, uh, that would just be painful. Now where the real question is, is uh, if I come into contact with somebody, if I'll actually be able to fight. Ooh, here's somebody. Let's see if we can run this guy over. Uh, oh, dang, I ran them over. Where they at? So yeah, it's really not very controllable. Where'd he go? Is there sneaking away? And I'm probably gonna start shooting a tree. And you guys know from watching the channel, uh, even though I've got what almost around ten number one finishes, we are. Uh, Obviously not that good. So we got our first kill. And like I said, this game is... Um, not very easy to control. And we're starting to see our 1% uh, is still, surprisingly that has not adjusted. Now, uh, other things to point out, you know, if you've seen my videos with the I, any of the i7s, we, uh, oh wow, here's some good stuff here. Um, with the i7. Sorry, it's hard to talk and play this game. I know some some of these people can do it. Yours truly isn't very good at it. But uh, with the i7s that I have, the 10700K, the 10700, I can get an average up to, um, what is it, 350, 360, 363. Uh, maybe a little higher with the correct overclock on there. And, you know, this isn't even, uh, of course, this is, what are we back on, medium? Uh, it's not even half of that. We realistically, with the other setup, would probably still be hitting 300. 
So this CPU in this situation is just terrible for what we've got set up here. I don't think this thing's going to fit under there, is it? Oh, it fit. We're almost back to where it was. So it's a shame I can't on the fly just go uh, 720p. I guess I could, huh? Let's see how that is. 900. Let's do 900 and low. I'm dying to find uh, somewhere. And it looks like the capture card is still... Okay, the capture card did not like that, folks. So, um, let's see if it likes 720p. Nope, capture card does not like that. So, we're not going to get to show you how this looks. Matter of fact, it looks like the capture card is, is done. It has overheated. Um, now, I imagine you're still hearing me. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this game up. I'm just going to sit in my truck and wait for somebody to kill me. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.